Watch out! That must be the lovely kiss attack! Hey guys, Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 censored Pokemon cards. Is Fire Blast that powerful? For this list, we're going to be looking at the trading cards from this enduring franchise that saw significant changes for their international release. Let us know in the comments if you managed to get your hands on any of the uncensored versions. And as always, if there's a Pokemon list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AshJBo and let me know. Number 10, Koga's Ninja Trick. <laughs> Guess I'll just have to beat this Venonat too. <laughs> this Venonat has a great deal more experience. Trainers who've traveled to the Kanto region surely recognize Koga as the poison specialist gym leader of Fuchsia City, but his ninja theming led to a questionable design decision in the Gym Challenge expansion. <laughs> The original Japanese version featured a manji symbol, which to other parts of the world may look a bit like a swastika. Since it bore no impact on the intent of the art, there was little justification for it to remain in the worldwide release. To circumvent the likely controversy, Koga used a substitution jutsu to redraw the symbol into something much more inconspicuous. We will now train even harder, Aya. Yes, brother. Number 9, Moo Moo Milk. Look at them all! There must be a million mill tank here! From their designs, abilities, or physicality, Pokemon have always been inspired by real-world creatures. But one trainer card took its influences a step too far. In the mainline video game series, Moo Moo Milk serves as an affordable alternative to HP recovering potions. Wow, you're on your third glass! Yeah, and so am I. While it's canonically linked to the cow-themed Miltank, it's still extremely jarring to see this card portray a centret suckling on an udder. Bizarrely, it's not from a Miltank either, but a normal cow, which shouldn't even exist in the Pokemon world. For the English release, the art was completely redrawn to more accurately reflect the in-game item, and that's probably for the best. I'm not finished yet! <laughs> Number 8, Incineroar. Pokemon may have grown into a worldwide phenomenon, but its Japanese sensibilities, mean attempts to remain kid-friendly, don't always work out in other parts of the globe. For example, this card of the fully evolved Alolan starter from Shining Legends has a move that literally translates to goddamn punch. While older fans may find this amusing, it proved a point of contention for a game that's often marketed towards children. As a result, the worldwide version was adapted as Profane Punch, which, for what it's worth, is a clever workaround. To be fair, if any Pokemon looks like they would have a potty mouth, it's this fire starter. Number 7, Sabrina's Gaze. So now, time for us to play. Anyone who remembers this psychic gym leader's terrifying turn in the anime understands why just her stare deserves its own card. Although the original artwork's framing put the focus not on Sabrina, but her hand, which led some to believe the Saffron City gym leader was giving the middle finger. She's far from the cuddliest Kanto trainer, but the inappropriate implication was still extremely out of character. Be my friend. You promised I could play with you. Naturally, it was heavily reworked outside of Japan, with a different framing that put the emphasis on the titular icy stare. Regardless of the posing, just one glance at it sends chills down our spine. <laughs> Number 6, Arcade Game. Yes, I'm your king of tricks! Good 
to see you! While the trainer cards traditionally follow the path of the mainline game franchise, this specific bunch proved an early predictor of changes coming to the series at large. Once a recurring staple of the initial generations, regional game corners slowly phased out of the Pokemon series due to concerns over the encouragements of gambling. So, without further ado, trick time! Many enter, few will win! Come on, people! Let's begin! <laughs> but long before they were removed from the games, the arcade game card was censored to remove any implication of betting. While the original card leaves little context to the imagination, the English release of all gambling-themed sets was zoomed in or redrawn completely to sidestep any negative connotation. Whoever gets past all of my traps and reaches the exit first is the winner! <laughs> I see, so that's how it works. Number 5. Sabrina's Gengar Gengar, Gengar. There are more of these? Yeah. Oh. As the first ever fully evolved ghost-type Pokemon, its only natural Gengar would feel right at home hanging around a cemetery. Its original Gym Heroes expansion card feels like a perfect representation of the mischievous spirit, but unfortunately, it was deemed too grim for Western audiences, and the backdrop was darkened to obscure the setting. Your routine really isn't working for me. You got to. <laughs> The black sparkling void is much less interesting to look at, and also takes away much of the ghoul Pokemon's unsettling aura that has come to define it over the years. Equal parts devious and creepy, it's a shame this on-point showcase was never officially released outside Japan. Number 4, Jinx. Watch out! That must be the lovely kiss attack! Among nearly 900 Pokemon and counting, it's hard to think of one that stirred up more controversy than this kiss-obsessed ice and psychic type. Criticism of blackface and concerns about the Pokemon's questionable outfits saw Jinx's debut anime episode skipped in the dub. For future appearances across all media, her skin was colored purple and she was modeled in a much less suggestive position. Okay, okay, stop, wait, quit it, don't piss me! The trading card game was no exception, and this Pokemon saw not just its initial release, but three different versions of it recolored for overseas markets. At least Jinx can boast that no other Pokemon has had to be censored as much as it has. Jinx, 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 Jinx. <gasps> Number 3, Magmortar. Feast your eyes on these! The adorable keepsakes of the Pokémon who battled bravely today! The signature attribute of Magmar's long-awaited evolution is its effortlessly cool arm cannons, though its Dragon's Exalted card saw it threaten more than just enemy Pokémon. While it initially pointed its dangerous hands right at you, the worldwide version had its intent drastically altered. Thanks to looser shading and a new pose, the scented card lacks much of the original's personality, especially when it comes to the intimidation factor. While it still manages to focus on the fire Pokemon's coolest feature, since it lacks the direct line of sight, we feel this would have been better left untouched. Hold on! You can't be serious! Number 2, Grimer. Grimer! You'd have to be an eagle-eyed collector to even notice this was censored at all. The change is far more subtle than others, but for a more justifiable reason. Grimer is far from the most innocent Pokemon in the decks, but having its eyes wandering up the skirt of a passerby was a bit much. Understandably, this was changed internationally, but even if it wasn't extremely inappropriate, it's still beyond strange seeing a Pokemon engage in such unseemly behavior. It's a small change that accomplishes a lot, and if we're being honest, we don't mind the adorable dopey look it's left with. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Misty's Tears Where do you think you're going? Oh, I know where we're going. We're going to Cerulean City. <laughs> 
this was less a censorship and more a complete rework. And for good reason. The Watertight Master of Cerulean City is one of the most recognizable characters in the franchise. But she's also very young. It seems the Gym Challenge set forgot that bit when they drew her nude next to her trademark Starmie. You keep that up and you'll be sing stars! Taste aside, the original art also had no relation to the card's namesake, leading it to be completely scrapped and reworked internationally. It may have been censorship, but many agree that the updated version is not just more appropriate, but also fits the card's context much better. Hold it right there! Misty? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.